Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put. At this point, we've got success coaches in multiple sports that are putting out content every 24 hours, right? So if you, if you subscribe to our channel, you'll have content going out every 24 hours for you to consume. And hopefully you can take the, the action steps that, that we share with you, implement them into your business, okay? And that can help your business to grow and scale to the next level, right? So don't get stuck with your business, Subscribe to the channel. Now, if you want more personal help and you want to speak to me personally, there's two ways you can do that, right? You can connect with me. If you go to the description of this video, you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call through Zoom at your convenience, or you can send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? So visit the description of this video. If you want to get in contact with me to talk about your business. Okay. So today's video, I want to share with you the top five lessons from six-figure soccer trainers. So for those that aren't part of our Accelerator program, then I don't know what to say to you. You're missing out, right? In our program, we've got a lot of coaches in there who are making a lot of money, right? They're very successful at what they do. They're very successful business owners. Uh, fantastic trainers, right? At this point, we've got coaches pretty much in most sports. And what I get every single day, I get asked questions. And because I'm connecting with coaches on a regular basis, it might be through Zoom, through Instagram, through Twitter, through email, right? Through text message, through WhatsApp, right? I'm constantly talking to coaches all throughout the all around the world. And a lot of them ask me, right, what are the five lessons or what are a couple of things that six-figure uh, trainers do? Like, what are their habits? What are their routines? How do they build? How do they structure a business? So I want to share with you what they do. Okay, I know this video might be a little bit longer than normal, but it's going to be very valuable. And hopefully you can take away and implement some of the things because this is what the big boys are doing, right? The big boys and girls in this industry, the ones that are, are operating at a really high level, okay, they make 100K plus a year. This is what they are doing, okay? So the first one is they all have sales scripts, right? They're not just getting on calls with parents and just winging it. Right. Most of the trainers, I'd say probably all of them who are successful in this industry, they all have a sales script. So they've got a sales script when they get on the initial call. They've got a sales script for the follow up. They've got a sales script when they're closing the client. Okay? Everything is scripted without the business. Everything is a system. And what happens is this makes things a lot easier because once you get on on the call, you know exactly what to ask. You, you know how to filter specific clients out of your program. You know which ones are the right fit. And it all comes down to having a sales script and asking the right questions. When you have that in place, when you have that lockdown, then your business will move on to the next level, right? It's going to take off at an, at an incredible rate. And... All the coaches, right? If you were to bring five coaches, uh, if you were to interview them, or if you were to bring them on the pod a podcast, or if you were to send them a direct message, right? And you were to ask them, and they were in our program, and you were you were you were going to ask them, right? What are a couple of secrets, or what are the couple of strategies that you guys do in order to be successful? I guarantee you, number one will be sales script, right? All the big dogs in this industry, they all have a sales script. Everything's scripted, everything's a system. And that's how they're closing clients every single day into their program. Now, second one is this, they sell and they market their business consistently. Right? If you go onto Instagram and you have a look at some of the biggest trainers in the industry, 
right? Not only have we probably spoken to them, but also they've probably been through our program. Okay, and what they can they consistently do is they sell and market nonstop. Everything is a sale for them. Every Instagram video, they're selling their, their service. Every DM message they're sending the parents, they're reaching out to try and get them on a call. Every newsletter they send out, they're sending a promotion. Promotion on how to join their program. Promotion on, on a two-for-one or a camp or clinic or a service, right? Everything they're sending out on a newsletter, it's to try and attract attention and try to attract more clients into their program. Social media, masters at it. All they do constantly is they sell and market what they do. They market their business, they market their clients, and they they show the audience, they show the viewer what the final result is when a new client joins the program. So once little Johnny started with us six months ago, this is where he was, this is where he is currently. Okay, so what these coaches do is they take the viewer through a process, which then any parent watching thinks, do you know what? If I send my child to this program, they're going to get great coaching. They're going to get great results. They're going to get great confidence. And ultimately, it's going to be a win-win a situation, right? We're going to make a great investment into our child. Our child's going to get great results. And hopefully, they can get to the next level. All right, so six-figure soccer trainers in this industry, what they're doing, constantly selling and market, marketing what they do on a consistent basis, right? They're not doing it once every week. They're not doing it once a month. They're doing it daily, right? Monday to Sunday, they're promoting, promoting, promoting what they do. They're selling, selling, selling. They're, they're getting on calls with parents and they're just getting their, their message, their brand out there so that parents know, like, and start to trust them and they could they bring them into the business. Now, third one is persistence over failure. Okay, so persistence over failure, what does that mean? Persistence over failure means the coaches who are currently at the six-figure level, they're just constantly persistent, right? When something doesn't go their way, they don't quit. They don't give up. They find a way to make it work, right? They don't, they don't put their hands up and say, right, this isn't going to work. Let's quit. Let's move on, right? They persist. So I'll give you an example. There was a coach that, that we were working with and he was struggling to get clients through Instagram. And Instagram was a massive tool, right? He had a massive audience. But what he was realizing is that he was he was struggling converting those those followers or those viewers into actual paying clients. So what he did, he, he became creative, right? He started to use different strategies to get attention on Instagram in order to get leads to to apply for his program. And hopefully then, you know, those leads then become and convert into into clients. So he kept persisting, kept persisting, and it did. It took him a while until he closed his first client through Instagram, because that was an area that he he felt that he was struggling with. Okay, he was getting a lot of uh, referrals coming his way, but as a business owner, you need more streams, right? You need more ways of getting leads on a daily basis. You can't just rely on word of mouth. Because when word of mouth dries up, right, what else do you have? So this coach, he was persistent. He kept trying. He created videos. He created messages. He sent out DMs on a regular basis. He changed his wording. He sent videos or he sent emoji. You know, he found creative ways to get attention and to get parents to respond to his message, right? To his message, to his business. And what happened is after, you know, a lot of attempts, he finally closed his first client. But he was persistent. He kept going. He kept trying new things. And he kept trying until, until it actually succeeded. Okay? So that's the third one. 
six-figure soccer trainers in this industry, they're persistent, they never quit, and failure is ultimately the, old, the last option for them. They're consistent, they're persistent, and they keep going. Fourth one is they hire and create successful teams. Once your business gets to that six figure, okay, you've either attracted really good clients who are then referring other clients to you, which means your program is growing, it's getting great results, it's getting a lot of traction. And it might get to a point where you think to yourself, do you know what? Now I need to start hiring coaches to come in and do the training for me while I can work on the business. So what the most successful six-figure earners do is they hire and they're not afraid of hiring. A lot of coaches don't want to hire because they want to keep all the profit. They want to keep all their clients. They're scared of bringing someone into the business. Uh, they're scared of losing clients to coaches that bring in the business or coaches taking ideas, right? That's all going to happen. That will happen. Whether you have clients, I mean, whether you have coaches that you hire or you don't, someone out there is going to try and take your clients. They're going to try and copy you, right? Those people are out there. And unfortunately, it's, it's, the, it's the reality, right? They are out there and they will try to destroy your business. But the most successful coaches, they don't let that mentality stop them, right? They've got a completely different mindset. And what they're thinking is, right, I need to build a team of successful trainers. Because if I treat them right, I pay them well, I, you know, I get them working with really good clients and they're enjoying what they're doing, they're, they're enjoying their job and they're surrounded by other like-minded uh, coaches who want to succeed, want to get to the next level, the chances are they're going to stay with you, with your company, right? They're going to stay with you and they, they'll stay with you for the long term. So the six-figure soccer trainers in this industry, all of them are hiring. They're all looking to grow their, com their, their company, all looking to grow their program by bringing in talented, committed, dedicated trainers and they're teaching them the system, right? They're bringing staff in, they're teaching them the system, they're putting through, putting them through a process where they can then start working with their clients, get great results, and the program just grows, grows, and grows. Now, the fifth one is they all think big, right? They all have this mentality of getting to the next level. If they've reached 100K, next year they want to they wanna double it, and they want to get to 200K. And what they what something I've noticed with them is that they aren't afraid of investing into a mentor. So a lot of the coaches in our program have invested a lot of money with us, but they know that if they invest into a good mentor, into a good business coach, their business will get to the next level, right? Because a business coach who is really good at what they do will help you to get great results. Also, you will avoid a lot of a lot of mistakes that we've made in our business that we want to stop you and help you to avoid making. Right? So essentially, you, you're cutting the corner, right? Instead of going the long way around, you go all the way through by hiring a business coach, right? So they think big, they hire, they invest in themselves, they invest in their business, and they aren't scared to invest because they know that in the long term, right, it's going to get them results, right? And they think long term. They don't think in, in the next week or two, three weeks. They're thinking, right, how's my, what do I want my business to look like in the next two to five years from now? How many clients do I want to be working with? How many coaches do I want to be part of our company? How many locations throughout the United States do I want to have? Right? These coaches are constantly thinking big. They don't think small. They, be, they think huge. They want to constantly grow, scale, and get to the next level. Right? So if you want to be one of these, okay, or you just want to get on a call to talk about your business with me, love to do that. 
right? From Monday to Friday, I make it priority to get on Zoom calls with coaches. So in the description of this video, there will be a Calendly link, right? If you click on it, you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. I can ask you some questions and show you some actionable steps to take this week to help and to grow your business, right? If you don't want to do that, you can send me an email as well to make money coaching sports. So before you go, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.